Streaming to you live from Open Signal, the Rose City's Community Media Center. It's live in Portland with Chris Franklin. Tonight's musical guests are jazz funk band Cloud Six. Now here's your host, fresh off the catwalk at PDX Design Week, Chris Franklin. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the Live in Portland special feature here at Open Signal. We're so excited to introduce to you our musical guest, Cloud Six from Portland, Oregon. But before we begin, I'd like to talk to you about accessing our inner creative in all of us. It's important that we navigate this world with the hopes of delivering our very best self. Starting every day new, looking at the world with inspired eyes, and building a loving community all around us. Where our passion meets our purpose, we find our driving force. So as you watch this episode, I encourage you to open your hearts, enjoy the show, and embrace the beauty that a creative imagination brings to this world. My guests tonight can be seen in venues all over Portland. Their shows are full of energy with modern jazz stylings. Right after this break, I'll bring you Cloud Six. Everybody, put your hands together for Cloud Six.
Thank you very much. So that was Not a Significant Source of Jazz, written by our trumpet player, Mr. Antonio Uribe. Next up, we're going to play a song that I wrote called Midnight Message. This song is about, you know, when you get a late night text message and you got to drive across town, some kind of shenanigan like that. Midnight Message. Nice. Thank you. So here at Cloud 6, we like to do a lot of different songs from a lot of different composers. All six of us actually write songs for this band. 
So next we're going to feature a tune by our bass player, Mr. Jamie Campbell. This song is called Theme Room.
six. That was an awesome performance. I can't wait to find out more about you guys right after this break. Welcome back. You just heard Cloud Six perform. Now they're in the hot seat. I'm so excited to get to know you guys. Uh, can we start off? Uh, let's go with the names. Uh, uh, introduce yourself. I'm Morgan Quinn. I'm Antonio Uribe. I'm Paul Parisa. My name's Dave Kelsey. And I'm Jamie Campbell. Jamie, uh, well, so I see five. Uh, you guys are cloud six. Is, In, there, is there a story to that? Uh, actually, our trombone player, James Powers, is uh, out on tour with March 4th Marching Band today. Oh, so March 4th. He's, I believe yeah. he's playing somewhere in Colorado as we speak right now. Very cool. Very cool. Well, welcome to the show, you guys. Your performance is amazing. Um, you mentioned in your performance that you have a unique style in writing your songs. It's kind of like a democratic uh, collective that you guys have where you all write for the whole, the composition for the whole song. So tell me about that process. It's true, actually. We, we consider ourselves somewhat of a collective. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, a lot of bands are like, we all work on the material together. But we actually, like, for this band, everybody submits a fully written chart with all of the parts on it, all the harmonies, all the rhythm tracks, everything that we're going to need for the, for the whole song. And uh, all six members of the band actually do that, including the drummer and the bass player. Everybody uh, brings a chart for the entire band, and then we all take a crack at it. Sometimes we add our own spin to the chart after we've heard it live. But uh, yeah, I, don't, I can't think of very many other bands where every single one of the members writes an entire chart and gives it to the band. Right, and that takes some talent, and you guys all bring something to the table. Uh, tell me about like, your musical experience uh, like as individuals and as a collective. Uh, so I've come from more of a funk rock and roll background. I've been touring with uh, progressive rock bands, funk bands, folk bands, jam bands, and stuff like that and uh, a bunch of different contemporary styles, and I'm just kind of getting into the jazz in the last few years. Of course, as a saxophone player, you always have to study the jazz, but like as a jazz composer, I'm really starting to get into the swing of it and finding how jazz actually intersects with all of the other genres that I have experience with. Uh, let's uh, hear Antonio's influences. Yeah, so uh, I'm a Portland native. Uh, my family is originally from Mexico, from a city called Guadalajara in a state called Jalisco, um, and I have many, many family members who are mariachi musicians, um, and I actually play in a mariachi here in town as well. Um, but I also study jazz very heavily. Um, I've studied with people like Alan Jones, Thera Memory, you know, jazz legends here in Portland and the world, really. Um, so I like to think that my background is really uh, diverse, um, and so I draw from a lot of influences when I write and when I play and improvise. Very cool, very cool. Um, I've played with a lot of uh, vocalists, so okay. whoever sings jazz or country or pop or... Uh, Scottish folk music, it really depends. <laughs> All of it. Yeah, so I guess when you play with enough singers, then you get around to playing everything. Very so, cool, very cool. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing drums for a little over two decades now, and uh, from behind the drums, I've gotten to experience music in a wide, wide variety of styles, uh, many different bands, many different ensembles. And I got to say that uh, Cloud Six is uh, is one that sticks out as, as being really special in the sense that they're so open to uh, to each of our, com our 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 compositions and sharing that you know with uh, each other and, and enhancing. Um, so I'm really really thrilled to be with this group. Awesome. Well, um, I started playing uh, bass back in high school, uh, so. Uh, at least a couple of decades ago and um, I'm from the East Coast originally which is where I met Dave um, we uh, ran into each other at a jazz open mic in uh, Tallahassee Florida of all places and that venue that we uh, met each other at we went on to play something like a hundred hundred and fifty shows there in wow. various different formats. Um, we hosted uh, a Thursday night funk and blues jam that brought out a lot of local musicians and awesome. a lot of impromptu bands formed out of those meetings, both with us and with other people that met each other at, you know, uh, on, the, on those Thursdays. So um, about uh, three years ago, I moved to Portland and uh, well, obviously having played with him so many shows, he was like yeah. the first person I called. In fact, nice. I think, I, think when I drove straight to your to your yeah, apartment, yeah. like <laughs> after, like from straight from Colorado, yeah, 
which was which is where I slept the previous night on my drive out here, <laughs> and drove straight to his apartment. So very cool, very cool. And I noticed you guys harmonize so well. You guys are so in sync. Um, when did Cloud Six develop? How long have you guys been playing together? Uh, so some of us have been playing together for about three years now. Cloud Six originally formed as a group called the Sextet, uh, directed by our former bass player, Mr. Robert Castillo. And uh, you know we played around Portland for about a year, uh, eventually going into the studio to record an album. And uh, that album did pretty all right with the local jazz station here. Awesome. They, they started playing it a bit and uh, getting us a little bit more attention in the jazz community. And then Robert moved to, to Kansas City, where he's originally from to pursue other things over there. So we just kind of stayed together and started writing our original tunes, or actually we had already written original tunes and brought them forward, uh, added Jamie Campbell to the band, added Antonio to the band, and uh, you know everybody started producing their own music and mm -hmm. the, the sound changed dramatically. You know We started getting more of a funk edge and uh, started playing around town. And so we've been playing for about two years as this lineup and uh, you know, we just actually went into the studio, same studio as the Sex Ted album, mm -hmm. and uh, we're in the process right now of working on our brand new record, our oh, debut. Nice, nice. I'm excited to hear that. Where are you along in that process? Uh, so we've already tracked most of it. We got one more day to go back and polish things up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a very exciting process. You know, brings out the the things that you need to work on, and so we've been working on that and uh, you know tightening up. Like you're saying, a lot of that harmony comes from the fact that we've really been hitting it hard lately, trying to yeah. get ready for this record, trying to make sure that everything is studio ready. You know, studio yeah. tight. That yeah. extra level that we really need to make sure that we can deliver a really good product to the world. Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Nathaniel Stoll and uh, the Map Room for for really uh, doing an Absolutely. outstanding job yeah. working with us. Yeah, yeah that's where we're gonna. That's where we have been recording is at the Map Room Studios in Southeast Portland with uh, Nate Stoll as our lead producer. We also had some work with uh, Dwayne Dungey, a former engineer of Parliament Funkadelic. Oh, so dope. it was very cool <laughs> to get his perspective in on our tunes yeah. and hear what he likes with his you know wide knowledge of. Funk, obviously, coming from the mothership itself, you know what I'm saying? I love it. <laughs> so when you guys record, do you record as a group, or do you do uh, solo performances in the booth? Like, how, what does your typical recording process look like? Um, so because we have so many different songwriters, there's been different processes for every song. We've kind of tried to le let the composer decide. Mm -hmm. Like, some of them were going for more of a radio polished things so then it would be like rhythm section works and then also and then the horns go on top of that uh, but then you know some of the other tunes we have just all everything live in the studio and even if there's a little mistake or whatever we just keep it in for that overall all jazz effect yeah that flavor that yeah, flavor right the live <laughs> so so we are um, so we're talking about the recording and I'm really excited for uh, your recording to come out but like we've just witnessed your live performance and I think that's something special and, and you guys just absolutely nailed it uh, where can people find you uh, do you have any shows that uh, are coming up uh, yes actually our next show is May 2nd at the Good Foot Pub and Lounge here I love in the Portland good one of my favorite <laughs> places we're very excited you know we get to really funk it up and bring the dance vibes for that so yeah. that'll be May 2nd uh, we look forward to playing that one um, we also have so we can check out where we're playing next at uh, www.cloud6band.com we also are very excited to be playing some festivals this summer we're going to be involved with shift festival mm -hmm. and uh, a couple others coming up we got a show with uh, farnell newton and the other ship connection one of our favorite local jazz funk bands very cool and so you know we're staying busy and as soon as we have the final details of the album we'll be doing a release for that and we're very excited for that too but i believe that'll be probably more towards the fall at this point. Very awesome. And uh, for my audience, uh, how can they keep in touch with you? Do you have uh, social media links and uh, YouTube? Absolutely. We're on Facebook. We're on uh, Instagram, both Cloud Six Band. So Facebook slash Cloud Six Band, Instagram, Cloud Six Band, Cloud Six Band dot com. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if you go to our social number media, six, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's S.I.X. -I -I yeah. Very important yeah. distinction. <laughs> And uh, so we also have a GoFundMe out there for people to pre-order our album, help us create it, you know, by funding it before it's available. It gives us, you know, the resources we need to do what we do to pay for the studio fees, pay for uh, mixing and all that. And so people can pre-order our album and t-shirts and stuff there. And uh, yeah, 
Very awesome, very awesome. I'll, I'll be sure to look up your website and the GoFundMe. Uh, Cloud6, thank you so much for coming out. Thank, thank you, you, Chris. <laughs> Everybody, I, I'm gonna need you to come to stage. Uh, this has been an awesome show. Come on out, come on out, come on out to stage. <laughs> Guys, this has been an awesome recording. I'm so happy that we've had Cloud6 with us. This is live in Portland. We're signing out. We shoot live every Monday at 9 o'clock. Open signal. Thank you for having us. See you guys later. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>